80% of newborns show signs of jaundice caused by the accumulation of water-insoluble bilirubin. In healthy newborns, the bile pigment bilirubin becomes water-soluble when taken up by liver cells. However, approximately 10% of newborns have high bilirubin levels that the liver cannot process quickly enough, which could result in bilirubin encephalopathy. To prevent this dangerous condition, Phototherapy light converts the buildup of bilirubin molecules into water-soluble molecules for treatment. But it's not enough to place blue light above jaundiced preemies. Consider these three important factors for effective phototherapy. Spectrum of light, sufficiently high irradiance, and effective surface area. To better understand, let's doodle them out. The first consideration is the spectrum of light. Light is electromagnetic radiation within a portion of the electromagnetic spectrum. Specific wavelengths of visible light trigger photoisomerization and oxidization. Blue light, the light responsible for breaking down bilirubin in jaundiced babies, is most effective at a wavelength of 460 to 490 nanometers, per the latest reports from the American Academy of Pediatrics. The second consideration is sufficiently high irradiance. This is the power per area of light received by the neonate. To ensure maximum irradiance, the distance between the patient and light should be minimized. Appropriately calibrated radiometers, which ideally have a spectrum identical with the light spectrum, can help measure irradiance. The importance of identifying a solution capable of pinpointing the right wavelength versus one measuring a broad range can be thought of like this. During a rainstorm, when placing a bucket in areas with heavier pockets of rain, you efficiently collect greater quantities of water. When placing a bucket in an area where it rains less, you may collect water, but not nearly as much as when your bucket was in the concentrated area. Even if you enlarge your bucket, you cannot identify the location of the greatest water volume. Applying this to light irradiance, it's advisable to use a radiometer covering the exact light spectrum that's beneficial to treat hyperbilirubinemia. For the third consideration, let's look at surface area. This means exposing as much of the neonate skin as possible to phototherapy. Widespread coverage increases the speed of bilirubin clearance in relation to bilirubin production. To protect against retinal damages, eye protection for the neonates is a must, and clothing should be minimal. For more on phototherapy, head to Draeger.com.